Welcome to Map Oil Tools Hydro Mechanical Bridge Plug, or HMBP, training video. Today, we'll discuss the proper operating procedure for running the Hydro Mech Bridge Plug. This tool can withstand high pressure, is hydraulically actuated, and mechanically set. Map Oil Tools Hydro Mech Bridge Plug can be used for temporary or permanent plugging and abandonment. The setting mechanism and control are contained in the bridge plug, eliminating the need for additional setting equipment. These drillable bridge plugs can be configured to set securely in any hardness casing. This tool can be run and set in tandem with retrievable production packers or squeeze packers. Optional release methods can be utilized depending on the application. Next, let's walk through the general setting procedure for the HydroMech bridge plugs. In this section, we will walk you through the general setting procedure for the HydroMech bridge plug. To begin, remove the top sub from the HydroMech using right hand rotation and make up to the lower pin end of the work string. Use good quality API approved thread lubricant and torque all work string connections to the manufacturer's torque recommendation. Using a wrench, reconnect the top sub to the HydroMech with left hand rotation. Lower the tool to the required setting depth. Running speed should be kept between 60 and 90 feet per minute. Drop the setting ball into the work string. Pump the ball down the tubing onto the ball seat. You will see a pressure indication on surface when the ball is seated. Apply pump pressure to work string in 500 PSI increments until reaching the appropriate pressure is indicated in the activation pressure chart in your tech sheet. Hold pressure for five minutes. The application of pressure forces the piston of the HydroMech bridge plug to move downward, causing the upper slip to move downward into contact with the upper cone. This then breaks the upper slip and forces the slips into contact with the casing. Pick up on the work string to determine if the upper slips are broken. This will be indicated by additional drag on the work string. If no additional drag is noticed, set back down and apply an additional 500 PSI higher than the previous attempt. Pull at least the minimum tension shown in the activation pressure chart in your tech sheet. Holding tension allows the packing element and backup rings to reach their full limit of expansion. Be sure to hold tension on the plug for a minimum of 10 minutes. Once properly packed off, the work string may be released from the HydroMech plug in two different ways. One way is to straight pull the tubing to break the shear stud at 50,000 pounds. The other way is to pull 500 pounds of tension and rotate the work string 10 turns to the right at the tool until the running sub is disconnected from the HydroMech bridge plug. Please note, when releasing from the plug by breaking the shear stud, the work string drains through the pressure area ports above the ball seat. This flow area is equal to the flow area through the ball seat. When rotationally releasing, the work string drains through the top coupling, which has a significantly larger flow area. If pumping operations will immediately follow release, the rotational release will yield significantly less resistance to fluid flow. If permanent abandonment is intended, both methods of release are acceptable. If temporary abandonment is necessary in which drill up is required, the shear method of release is recommended as the setting mechanism is not rotationally locked. This method also reduces the amount of material left in the hole by about half.